On the ice from Russia, Alina Kostonaya. Well, one of the biggest characters on the scene. Will she go for the triple axel, which the coaching team suggested she didn't attempt in the short program? Looks likely, given her preparation there, as she takes her spot on the ice. Elena Kostarnaya from Russia. Down on the triple axel. Lovely spring on the triple loop. And a difficult entry into an easy double axel. Massive triple flip with triple toe in combination. And another triple flip this time with an oiler and a triple south pole. Double toe, the last jump. She really is such a character. And that on the women's circuit, great to see.
And so many young female skaters around the world suggesting that Costa and I are their favourite, especially after that brilliant season she had in 2019 into 2020. It was here that she won her first Grand Prix. She went then on that season to win the NHK Trophy after the Grand Prix final and European Championships. But then the pandemic happened. World Championships obviously cancelled. And now she's struggling to get back into that pole position in the season. And since then, her training mates, Valieva, Trusova, Sherbakova, so many of them coming back with quads. There, the triple axle. Interesting to just see from the camera angle how much rotation there was. She does drive up so much into the jumps. And that was a second jump. The triple looks just a little overcooked there, and that's the reason why she didn't put that in combination. Look at that elevation. You can see the strapping on her right hip, suggestion that there's an underlying injury as well to contend with. And her, one of her coaches, Danielle Gleikenhaus, has been vocal about his desire to see her train more. And triple flip, triple toe. And I'm sure the very successful coaching team know what's necessary to create Olympic champions. They did it with first and second place in Pyeongchang, Zagitova and Medvedeva. Both taught by Yuteri and Daniil, who we'll see here with Kostanaya. And with so many of the top women in the world all having the same coaching staff, it really does then put power back into the hands of the skater. If they're all getting the same information, who's the one that's going to take it, run with it, and work the hardest? But one thing's for sure, Kostanaya does have an unteachable character. And that's what's made her a special star. So the judges deem her skating skills the best by some way. And it's that three points in the skating skills in addition to good grades of execution, which find her the winner in both the free skate so far and overall. And a hug from a Terry Tupperitz as the seal of approval.